Welcome to this episode of the Nutrition Coach Corner, and I'm your host, Amy Wilson. So, is it your hormones, or is it you? Are your hormones to blame, or is what we're doing to blame? So, I'm going to say it's more than likely you, me, it's not... Yes, are our hormones decreasing? Estrogen is decreasing. Things happen. Things shift. Things change. But guess what? Nine times out of ten, we're not helping the situation. Let me repeat it. We're not helping the situation. How are we not helping the situation is because, where do I begin? Go back into your teens, 20s. Go back to your first diet. When did you first diet? So for me, it was actually eighth grade. I can remember that was my first diet. I started then, and I've done umpteen million things since then. And every time we dieted, every time we tried to do a quick fix, every time we starved ourselves, we set ourselves up for failure. So you're like, well, how does that do with hormones? Because now we're going through perimenopause. If you're over 35, 35 and over, you are going through perimenopause. You're not at menopause yet, but you're going through the beginning stages. Then you become menopause, and then you become post-menopause. So what happens? Our estrogen starts to tank. Our body fat does shift, but we help that process along. We do it to ourselves. And how? Let's go back. All those diets that we did before... All those quick fixes that we keep trying, all those supplements that we keep thinking is going to be a fat burner that's going to help us, that take us, that's going to do the magic thing, we actually cause more harm. We actually decrease our metabolism. We actually increase cortisol levels. And we actually increase the mid fluff. Because we still try to go back to what we thought worked. Let me tell you, if it worked in the first place, you wouldn't be having to do it again. It, those quick fixes work for a certain amount of time, very slow amount of time. And I keep seeing them coming back all the time. Drink this. Eat this. Do this supplement. You ladies... And gentlemen, because gentlemen, you kind of go through the change too. It's a different kind of change, but you also go through a different change. Doing those quick fixes screws up your hormones. Totally screws them up. You don't balance your blood sugar. You cause inflammation. And you make perimenopause and menopause and postmenopause worse. Hot flashes will be worse men, you're actually going to see more fluff in the middle, maybe even more so than women. You might get the man boobs, even more so than, like I said, women, because you're messing with your hormones by trying to do these quick fixes. So yes, is your hormone to blame or are you to blame? We're to blame. Because we want quick fixes, we actually make things worse. So what do we got to do? We got to start getting real. We got to start understanding that the quick fixes, that I get it. We want it. We want that quick fix so bad. I Believe me, I'm like, oh, I would really love to have a quick fix. But it doesn't. It is a journey. It is a health journey. This takes time. And I have to tell you something. It doesn't freaking end. Every day you are changing. Every day Things are going on in your body. You don't get to an ending point going, ooh, I'm here, okay, and now I can go back to what I was doing before. It doesn't work that way. If you want to keep balancing your hormones, if you want to keep your blood sugar stable, it is eating real food, it is not abusing your body with cardio, and it's picking up those weights. It's also getting sleep. Because that's when your body recuperates. That's when your body regenerates. If you are continuing to starve yourself, if you are hangry, if you are going, oh my gosh, I'm not eating enough and I'm just, this this is horrible, but I want to lose weight, so I'm going to do it this way. You know what you're doing? Hello, osteoporosis. 
Hello thyroid disorders. Hello hair and skin nail problems. Hello inflammation. Hello just being a biatch and hangry because nobody wants to be around you. Nobody wants to be around that. If, if what you're doing is making you moody, if what you are doing is actually making your hormones worse and making you a horrible person, it's not the right thing. Help yourself. Help yourself respond to getting healthy. Help yourself balance those hormones. Help yourself stabilize blood sugar. Help yourself feel better. Help yourself lower your cortisol levels. When you do that, you're helping your hormones. So stop doing all the quick fixes. Stop doing the starvation yourself. And you will start seeing some amazing results. You will start feeling better. You will start helping your hormones instead of really causing more issues. And then, yeah, then the hormones are to blame because we're actually helping the hormones do what we don't want them to do. We, we're making them out of sync. So it's kinda, it kind of it kinda goes both ways. If we help our hormones, we can be healthy, decrease inflammation, do what we want to do. But if we don't help our hormones, then we get the opposite effect. And we don't want the opposite effect. So be healthy. Stabilize that blood sugar. Get your rest. Don't overwork out. And for God's sake, quit being hangry. Have a great night, guys. I will see you next week for the Nutrition Coach Corner. If you like this, hit the like button. Feel free to share it with um, anybody who may need to hear this. Because we can help our hormones. We absolutely can help our hormones. We're not a lost cause. You're not a lost cause.